Welcome to my outer plane guide for optimal daily routines. There are two different daily gameplay loops that you will need to know. The routine that you should follow when there are gear rate up events going on. And secondly, the routine that you should follow when there are no gear rate up events. I'll firstly go through the most important things you should do in both cases. So the first thing you should do is always just go straight into the guild to get your guild buffs. Just click on this in the guild and you're all set for the rest of the routine. You should also be doing the guild board security area every day, but usually I like saving it for a time when I have to leave the computer for a few minutes. Next, you should also be heading straight into your base and collecting all of the anti-particle generator rewards and checking out the supply module for any items that uh, cost the antimatter cogs. So unlucky for me, I usually I refresh once a day for 10 ever, and I didn't find any items that cost antimatter cogs, so I'm not buying anything. Next up, you should always be doing your 5 arena memorial, memorial match runs, so you get a 20 ever from doing all 5 of these every day. And now we're up to the probably the most important thing to do every day, which is to farm your side story characters. I already finished farming my 10, but usually right now I'm farming Arme and Epsilon. So when you farm for pieces, make sure you click on reward settings down here to make sure you're also farming the 2 star version of the same element. Next up is farming all of the challenges here. So let's start with the bounty hunter, the bandit chase, and the whatever it's called, the upgrade stone dungeon. Just order all of those or just use all your clear tickets on those to clear them quickly. Next up are the gear dungeons, ecology study and identification. So for these ones, you just want to use clear tickets on the highest stage that you can use clear tickets on. So the highest stage you've 3 starred for every single one. This is because every single one of these, you can see in the top right, extra daily reward. If you just clear it once, you get a guaranteed piece of gear on every single dungeon you clear every day. And that's all done for all 10. And of course, if the Arc Demon's Ruins has reset today, you just go into the latest infinite corridor one that you can do and just clear it. And now for the towers, like the Skyward Tower and the Elemental Towers, you only want to clear these ones on the days where you do not have a gear rate up event. So I'll go into more specifics for each of those later on. And also I forgot to mention, if there is a limited time of side story event, such as this one, this one's permanent now, but for example, I'm using an example, if there is like a temporary one, you want to just clear as many stages as you can. And farm the currency, the event currency stage every single day, usually in the hard mode, the last stage, you want to farm that one up to, a lim up to the limit. And of course, don't forget to watch your ads for the 180 free stamina every day and the 15 free skip tickets probably one of the most important sources of free stamina and skip tickets for F2P players especially. Don't miss out on this. Next up we can go back to our home screen lobby, just do the basic stuff like doing the free recruitments every day. Blah, blah, blah it's probably going to be one star, yep, as expected. Then also go into the shop and buy out everything in the shop that's free. Go to the resource, get the free gold, friendship. Usually get most of the stuff in here. Let's buy everything out. There we go. Buy the arena tickets when you need to. And arena. Usually I like getting the gold every single day because it helps a lot. Every single bit helps. After we bought out the shop, we can go to the missions. We should have all the daily missions done at this point. Then we can do the web events as well. So we go through the web event missions. And most of these should also be done at this point. So we collect everything. So you can see here that we still have one more we haven't cleared yet, which is clearing adventure twice. So in most cases, we only want to clear adventure only when there is no gear event going on right now. So right now, there actually is a gear event going on right now, so I don't really want to clear adventure. But if the mission says you have to clear it, then you have to clear it. So since that's the case, I'm going to go and clear adventure twice, even though there is a gear event going right now. So we close this, go to adventure, adventure and only clear the ones that give you a uh, blue gifts minimum. So since it said mission said two, I only want to clear two. I want to do the bare minimum since there's a gear event going on right now. 
need to save all the stamina you can. And we go back to collect the mission. Oops, over here. And voila. And of course, do the bonus, like the rock, paper, scissors right now. Next, we probably have one of the more important things to do every day, especially for F2P players. The boss summon daily missions. You get two Demiurge pools if you complete these every day. So I've already done this one, the antiparticle generator one, you actually have to wait, so I can't really finish that one yet. This one, 5 out of 10, I need to do 5 more, I can easily do that, so I'm gonna do like 5, sweet. And collect. And yeah, just wait for the last one, sometimes you don't get this if you're lucky, and yeah, you're done with this. So that's basically everything you have to do every day, regardless of whether there is or not a gear rate up event today. Now I'll dive into more of the specifics what to do when there is not a gear rate up event. So the first thing you want to do is not touch any of the energy you get from the events. You see how you get stamina from here and it's unlimited time. During the non gear rate up event days, you don't want to touch these. You want to save them specifically for only the gear rate up event days. That's the most important thing to note. Second of all, assuming that you've already cleared everything I've already said before earlier, and like cleared all the challenges here, Bounty Hunter, cleared every single one of these stages once for the daily extra rewards already, then all the ex excess energy after you clear all of these ones, after you clear all of these, after you clear all the side story, any excess energy you get on the same day is when you invest into climbing the Skyward Tower or climbing the f Elemental Towers every single day. You do not want to clear the touch the towers at all during the days where there is a gear rate up of it. And finally, you want to clear the hard mode story for the gifts 5 times for every single stage. You can see at the back, the last stage. So 25 times in total, only on non gear rate up event days. Well, if you're a mid or early game player, you can consider still clearing it during the gear rate up event days because you need to really farm the EEs. But for late game players, you definitely do not need to farm these anymore every day. Now we get to the specifics on what to do during the days where there are gear rate up events. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're going to farm the right dungeon. So you can see here, increases gear, hammer and clear ticket drop rates by 30% by for special request identification. So make sure you're only farming identification and not the wrong one. So if this said ecology study, you'd only be one, wanting to farm ecology study, not identification. Yeah. So it's identification day today. So first of all, you want to collect all the stamina in your inbox that you've saved up. So this is the temporary 7 day stamina. And all of the unlimited stamina. Once you're done collecting all your stamina, just go straight into the event that's going up. Right. So right now it's identification. Go to the stage that you want to farm. I like doing Glyphos and Meteos, stage 12. Just go in, just spend all your stamina and watch all the gear drop. And that's almost basically it for the days with gear rate up events. So every single time you get more stamina, you just want to put it straight back into your favorite, uh, the dungeon that you're farming basically. Yeah, and that's it. And yeah, that's basically it for my outer plane gameplay loop guide, the most optimal daily routine guide. Hope I, you learned something, hope I could help you in some way to optimize your daily routine. And yeah, see you in the next one.